Virgin Radio 104.4, morning live here on the Chris Fade Show, 8.33. Please welcome him to the studio right now, Rodrigo Alves. Yay! Good morning. Good morning, Chris Fade. Now, Good morning, Dubai. Welcome <laughs> welcome to the uh, the Virgin Radio studios. I've, you know, I've always wanted to chat to you, interesting enough. I've seen you on so many different international programs, and I've always wanted to just pick your brain to find out what's going on and, 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 and where where you started and where you are today. You're doing a bunch of stuff. You're releasing music. But to, to get down a business here, you've got the Guinness World Record for what, Rodrigo? What is that? Well, apparently, uh, I am the man, the person, who have had the most number of body modifications and plastic surgeries in the world. Mm. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, it's not something that I'm so proud about. <laughs> but then again, not ashamed about anything. Well, but uh, I just don't think that people should be getting uh, awards for plastic surgery because that's encouraging other people also becomes a competition and that, that's not healthy. Mm. Okay. Yeah, having so, plastic surgery for personal reasons is one thing, but then when it becomes a competition, getting awards for it, it's not something that I have always that I never aimed for. So you didn't you didn't start off on this to say, hey, I want to be the, the the person in the world with most plastic surgery done. It for Ooh. you it be it be, it was something personal that you wanted to to begin to to do certain things on your body, correct? Uh, yes, well, it's a long story. It has been a long journey. I just yeah. had to do what I did to be the person that I am today, mm-hmm. uh, aesthetically speaking. But I only had so much surgeries because a lot of my surgeries gone wrong infections and lumps and bumps, things would go wrong, and then I would have to book another surgery to fix it. Right. Yeah, I would say that good half of my surgery is just corrective surgeries, yeah. I want to run through some of the, the surgeries right now, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and the, we've got a price figure here, so I just want to know if this is legit. Hair transplant, roughly six and a half US thousand dollars. Botox and fillers, uh, about 10,000 US dollars. Pec implants, 13,000. Six pack, putting a six pack in around twenty eight thousand US dollars. Yes, that's a lot of money. No, I know. Nose. Why nose. you look at me like that? I know. <laughs> no, no, because this is this. I just want. I want to get to it. Nose surgery about forty k. Uh, liposuction on the jaw, fillers, uh, rib removals, up to about forty thousand dollars. There. How, I mean, obviously you've got money, mate. This is. This is not a cheap thing to do. There would be a lot of people around the world who want to do certain things yeah. to their bodies, but yeah. unfortunately their bank accounts don't allow them to do it. How yeah. did you, where, where, what were you doing before this or what are you doing now? Yeah, which is a shame. Uh, would have been fantastic if uh, people would have been able to have affordable plastic, plastic surgeries for medical reasons. Mm-hmm. But in some countries they can. Uh, but not everywhere. Unfortunately, plastic surgery is still very expensive in some countries. And also in some countries, it is a little bit of a taboo. Well, I was born in Brazil, but mm-hmm. I'm half British, so I'm British-Brazilian. Dad British, mom Brazilian. My life is in London, pretty much in Europe. Okay. And uh, in England, plastic surgery is very expensive. And then again, it's still a taboo out there. Mm-hmm. Where you go to the country next door, Italy, where I do a television show, and uh, people celebrate body modifications, and it is a little bit more affordable. Um, and the, the money that, like, obviously, there's a lot of money involved. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, even here in this country, I mean, yeah. uh, I, I, the aesthetic, the aesthetic industry yeah. Yeah, is yeah, still yeah. growing and yeah. booming daily basis. Uh, we live in a society where beauty is a prize, and people they go to the gym to modify their bodies just by looking fit and healthy. They want to look better. They want to look younger. They use. Uh, creams that promise miracle that will make them look uh, younger forever and and plastic surgery is a big part of it. Now you said something earlier which I think is important. You said I want people to know that plastic surgery is not a competition. It's something that you want to do for your own self, right? What what was that journey for you when it began? I know you said it's a it's a long story, but what made you feel as though you wanted to modify your Uh physical appearance? Well, I wasn't born this way. I made myself this way with more than 60 plastic surgeries Mm. throughout the years. I'm 35 years old. The first surgery was at the age of uh, 17. Mm. Uh, I had something called gynomasty, which is the growth of uh, the male chest tissue. Mm. And it's not very nice being, being a boy and 
having that. So that was removed at the age of 17. Uh, but also, growing up, I was very much teased and bullied by my body shape. Uh, I have fat cells. I am a... a uh, to be a, uh, a big person, I had a lot. Of, I have had a lot of plastic surgeries and liposuction to become smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm constantly on a diet and fighting against my natural genes uh, because I keep going back to being fat. Rossi and I are like the, we, we feel that. Yeah, <laughs> we both uh, like eat really well and train a lot to try to keep it down. Mm. It's 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 hard to keep this figure that I have right now because it's not natural for my. My, my body. Mm. Uh, I wanted to have a nose job at the age of 17. People at school used to tease me a lot about my body shape. I had the, a wide nose. People would call me potato nose. And that's not very nice growing on that environment. That was in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, Brazilian people, they are usually fit and uh, blessed with natural beauty. Mm. And uh, I wasn't one of them. Um, I wanted to have packs. I wanted to have a six pack at the age of uh, 19, 20. Going to the gym didn't work for me. And then I found out later that I had a hormonal dysfunction, uh, that my body does not produce uh, muscle like most of other guys does. Mm. So, so you, what I did? He's got a six pack. I bought myself a six pack. <laughs> I so, bought myself packs. I bought myself arms. Wow. So then I said, no, hang on, I don't want to live like this anymore. I. I want to have a six pack. I want to have a pack. So going to the gym, that doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to go and buy it. And then I right. bought it and then I got okay. it. I, I, I haven't seen a photo of you before all the plastic surgery. Just, Are you Just Google my name. Okay. Rodrigo Alves. Will Images, before and after. <laughs> is it Now you've had that much plastic surgery. Is it true that you continually have to change your passport photos? Well, not right now because I just got a new passport, so it's all good. But two years ago, I came to Dubai and then I was held at passport control for two hours. They're only doing their job, really. They, my my f new face did not match ah. the face that I had on my passport. Oh my gosh. But I had the same problem going to India, everywhere. going to everywhere, really. So now I have a new passport and okay. everything is good. <laughs> Everything's okay. Hair transplant, Botox fillers, pec implants, six pack, no surgery. How many no surgeries have you had? have had 11 no 11. surgeries. The last one was in January. Uh, I only had so many nose jobs because I have had so many problems. If you look at my nose right now, there's a dent on this side. Mm. I had infection. When I was watching you on Botched, you yeah. were saying that you were struggling to breathe at some stage. Is that, yeah. is that true? Yes, I was uh, struggling to breathe and uh, not being able to taste food very well. Mm. Um, for four years, not breathing pretty much at all. I had a dead organ. My nose was just a dead organ. Yeah. And that is what can happen with plastic surgery. I mean, plastic surgery is not, not always goes according to plan. And I have had more than 60 plastic surgeries, and a good half of it was to correct uh, infections, mistake made, and, and it's not a pretty sight. What are you... Your advice to anyone listening right now who is contemplating plastic surgery, what would what is from the man who's had it the most in the history of, of mankind, mm. what would you tell them? Well, plastic surgery will not make your life better or um, give you a dream job or find you love. I mean, first you've got to love yourself and love it is inside yourself and it may sound a little bit ironic coming from me, but I started very young. I didn't have my, my parents or people to advise me. I moved from Brazil to England at the age of 18 to go to university, and I had to make all these decisions by myself. So if you guys are willing to have any plastic surgery, I would say talk to your parents, talk to your mother, to your father, to your brothers, to your friends. And when you go to visit a plastic surgeon doctor, visit at least three doctors to have a different opinions about the procedure. Mm. Plastic surgery it is a very personal decision you are changing a part of your body and uh, plastic surgery is not dangerous as such but the risks are infections and I have had a Number lot of, of problems them. yeah can I talk about the mental side of it when I'm at the gym and I look at a lot of bodybuilders and they're huge mm. but in the mirror they look at themselves and they don't believe that they're big enough. They need to keep training. They need to keep using their supplements. And I literally say to them, bro, stop. You've hit, yeah. you've, you, you look amazing. From your side of things, 
do you have those mental battles within yourself where you think, think to yourself, my nose is too big, I need more on my cheeks, I need my six pack to be tighter? Like, is that is that a battle that you're having with yourself? Uh, I used to, yeah. So I started having plastic surgery at the age of 17. I'm 35 now. Um, and the, right now, at this stage of my life, right now, I feel very comfortable with myself. I'm not the most beautiful human being. I look very exotic. I stand out because I look different. I don't follow I don't follow a standard of uh, aesthetic or beauty. I look unique. I know exactly what I look like. I'm not blind. <laughs> so you know that you I know exactly what I look to, like. Yeah. If there's a hundred people in the room that you are standing out, you know that. I, I mean, is it true that you wanted to look like the the, the Barbie, the, the Ken? Is that no? Or is that it the, was. The world it was. Gave you? No, no. I just wanted to improve myself and to look better. And then uh, five years ago, I was given this nickname, the Human Life Candle. Uh, and then Mattel, they made a uh, few dolls and sold in America, and they. Sold a lot of it and they were happy and so was I uh, <laughs> after that <laughs> made some money that's cool and uh, after that I started doing television shows mm. uh, mainly documentary shows on BBC in the UK and uh, documentaries in different I speak six languages so which wow. allows me to pretty much wow. do television mm, and radio anywhere. shows anywhere yeah um, so far, I have done more than 150 television shows in 22 countries, uh, Big Brothers in um, in Italy and also England, and uh, about 40 TV documentaries. I mean, right now we are filming a uh, lifestyle celebrity show for one of the largest German TV network, and uh, it's part of my life. I do this every day. So everything started with the nickname as The Candle, which became a uh, full-time job and mm. a career for life. But the truth is that I'm not deluded. I never want to look like a candle. I just want to look better. Yeah. But because I wear colorful outfits, you can check on my Instagram page, uh, Rodrigo really? Alves UK. You yeah. see my sense of fashion. And you know, I have high cheekbones. I have big eyes. I uh, Your skin is I, porous. Your, there is not one yeah. wrinkle or crease in your skin. How... How is what, what's happened here? Because that's well, look, first looks, of all, I drink a lot of water, okay, and I drink collagen. I, oh. I, 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 I try to live a very healthy lifestyle, mm. um, but also I have had two facelifts, mm. a lot of Botox injections, <laughs> and believe it or not, this is the most natural that I have ever looked. This is the this most because natural. Because it has been like a year that I don't do Botox Anything. look. Yeah. I can frown now. Yeah, can, can you? You can you can do the surprise look. I'm angry. Like, yes, you're, you're happy now. <laughs> Actually, now you can see a little bit of lines. No, I didn't have none of that before. So you this, don't, Rodrigo. So it comes to prove that I'm so comfortable on my own skin nowadays. Okay, good. We're on the past. Going back to your question that I didn't answer properly. I used to be like that example that you gave about the body bodybuilder. Yes. I would look at myself the mirror. This is not good enough. I need more. I need my six pack to look more defined. I I need to look more chiseled. Right. Now I am getting more comfortable with myself so and accept if, that I'm aging. So if you, if someone says to you, Rodrigo, no more, are you able to say now, I don't need anything else? Uh, well, I would like not to have more plastic okay. surgery. My okay. latest procedure was three weeks ago in Istanbul. Only because in January I had to correct my chin and then I had an infection, ended up finding a very good doctor, Dr. Ali in Istanbul, thank you very much, who fixed uh, my chin. I had an infection, there was a little bit of a dent in here, they used fat from my knees to fix that. Right now I have uh, something called um, MedPore, which is a, a, an, an implant on my chin, it's a type of fake bone. Uh, my chin is not perfect. Uh, I can't feel my lips a little bit numb right now. It's part of the healing process, um, and I'd like to say that I'm done. I just okay. want to. I just want to live life, be happy, and uh, carry on making, in inspire people to follow their dreams and to follow their, to dare to dream.
Well, that's the theme of Eurovision this year, Dare to Dream. Dare You're to doing dream. that. We're going to wrap it up here, but I want to wrap it up. I could talk to you for uh, three hours yeah, right now, honestly. Rodrigo. I've got 100 questions I want to ask you. Uh, we want to say thank you for coming through to the Virgin Radio Studios. You have just released a song, ladies and gentlemen. It has already gone num- Where is it number one right now? Oh, my gosh. I'm overwhelmed. I'm so happy. <laughs> so a few days ago, I just launched my song called Plastic World. There's two versions of the song. Yeah. Uh, one version is with my best friend, who's a plastic surgeon in Italy as well. Uh, Giacomo Urtes mm-hmm. and um, the song it is in Spanish and in English okay. it's been top one in few countries uh, top 10 in the UK top one in Italy Spain Portugal uh, Colombia it's uh, a very catchy pop song yeah. uh, I'm gonna be opening the Eurovision party this year in Tel Aviv you're, you're opening the Eurovision party which is great uh, can I play a little bit of it right now oh please do yeah. okay here we go we're gonna I say ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho in the plastic world. I say ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho in the plastic world. I say ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho. Come on, everybody, hands up! World. I say ho oh, ho oh, ho oh, in the plastic world. Hey. Vivo la vida loca. I'm sexy and hot. Vivo la vida loca. I'm sexy and I'm hot. Can yes. I say that? Yeah, I'm nice. sexy and hot indeed. There, <laughs> there, there you go. Can I ask, if you want to get that, you can download the song right now. It is on all the platforms right now. iTunes everywhere. What's the name of the song? Plastic World. Plastic Road. Uh, world. 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 Sorry. Plastic World, ladies and gentlemen. Please follow. If, if you want to follow the journey of Rodrigo, you can do that on Instagram right now. It's Rodrigo Alves. UK Rodrigo Alves UK we'll throw a photo up pretty soon yep. Rodrigo it's a pleasure as I said I could talk to you for hours thank you so much for coming through to the Virgin Radio Studios thank Give you for having me well thank done. you Virgin Radio. Thank you.